Meteorologist Tom Schmidt, certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. All righty, folks, welcome back. We're here live at Hollister Elementary School down in Hollister, of course, just south of Branson. Got a good group of kids behind us. These are all second graders, and we've got a full presentation ahead. We're going to learn about all kinds of things from tornadoes to flooding to even some winter weather. And we were cold this morning, but we didn't have any winter weather, thank goodness. So we'll go ahead and jump into the graphics here real fast, looking at satellite and radar. Our next storm system is up to the north, actually bringing through a cold front down through Kansas right now, knocking on the door of our western counties by this uh, not too far from now, early afternoon. Might see that front first start getting into northwestern Missouri before making its way through the Ozarks for later this afternoon and this evening. There'll be a slight chance of rain with that. Okay, looking down to the tropics, looking at Hurricane Norma. This is a uh, currently still a tropical storm as far as I can tell, but it is expected to be a hurricane pretty soon out there with Category 3 strength by tomorrow. And uh, that'll weaken as it gets to the Mexican coastline along the Pacific. However, we might be dealing with some of that moisture from Hurricane Norma for the middle to end of next week, coming all the way here to the Ozarks. Okay, back here in the short term, looking at future casts, we're going to see that cold front come on through. As it does, we're going to be seeing, again, slight chance of rain showers along that boundary. Otherwise, it's pretty weak, not a whole lot going on, and uh, pretty quiet after that. We're going to be seeing, again, some clear skies for Thursday, a few clouds, temperatures not too bad, upper 60s, so it's a weak cold front for your Thursday. So storm number one, that's what we're going to call that. That'll be storm one. As that comes on through for tonight, it's pretty weak. It'll move in, it's out, and uh, we're looking like a pretty good weekend for us across the area. Now, storm two, that's Hurricane Norma, comes up from the south, and that'll give us, again, just a slight chance of rain. We'll get kind of swept up into the jet stream as we go into Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Then storm three, the big one, that's the one we're really starting to watch for the end of next week, again, about 10 days from now. But that one could give us a widespread chance of rain, and maybe even through a few thunderstorms as things look right now. That's the end of next week. Back for today, we'll see temperatures in the mid-70s. We'll do 75 here in Springfield at least, mid-70s elsewhere. The cold front moving across the area through the afternoon. Overnight tonight, upper 40s outside. Again, slight chance of rain showers, mostly dry. Upper 60s tomorrow, so that weak cold front knocking us down just a little bit. Not too bad. We're back to the 70s by Friday. Saturday will be sunny and nice. Yeah, Great-looking weekend. Then, yeah, start of next week looks good. And then, guys, looks like it's not until the next 9 or 10 days that we start to see that next chance of rain arrive. Uh, with a possible storm system the end of next week. But for the time being, hey, yeah, we're here at Hollister Elementary School with the kids. Matt and I are going to give a nice little presentation for them. We're going to talk about all kinds of things. We've got a little hail experiment. We've got a wind experiment. And we're going to talk about the world's largest hail, which, believe it or not, is slightly larger than this basketball. We'll talk about it all coming up at the class. But, guys, in the meantime, back to you. All right. Thank you, guys. It looks like they are having a blast with y'all. Now, if you would like Tom and the rest of the Color 10 weather team to come to your child's school to do the forecast live and do some fun experience like they were just saying with the students, just fill out the form for our weather class on OzarksFirst.com.